Hey guys, I'm LB, and we are going to replay Scrapyard because there is a new version now, which supposedly fixes the issues that I had with the first version. So let's see. Update, fixed some exploits and made the overall puzzle better. Thanks to Quat and Fumbly for the idea. Alright, well, let's jump straight into it, I say. Ooh. Ooh, yes, this is already looking different. We have two buttons and an elevated exit. Interesting. Interesting. And I think the music is just really quiet, if I recall correctly. Huh. Right, I forgot this is monoportal map. Also, why can I not shoot there? There we go. Now it works. Alright, let's go through here. And go through here. That's interesting, this is behind a full reset now. So we cannot press that button without resetting our portal. Interesting. Also looks like you're using a new version of B-Mod where- Hold on a sec, didn't this used to be a rim on the outside? Yeah, this used to be a rim on the outside, like, sticking out. I guess it does still sort of stick out, but not as much as I've seen before. That actually- I'm not actually sure which one I like more. Huh. Anyway, I'm, I'm just, just talking about different versions of Vmod here. It kinda looks weird. I think I... Well, I mean, the, the rim sticking out from the outside also looked weird. I don't know, it works. It, it gets the point across. It just looks kinda strange. Alright, so, there's that. And we want to take it... across. Uh, no. Uh... Go in the- go in there, please. And then come on out over here. I'm sure it would've auto-respawned anyway, but who cares. <laughs> Put that there. And then... Get out of here. la da da Pull me in this direction. And then we can pull ourselves up over there. La di da di da, all the way up there. There we go. Right. So now we have a second cube. I think it used to be a regular cube and a companion cube before, but now we've got colored cubes, which is interesting. Right. So we can't easily get up there at the moment. Suppose we might as well go in this direction then. And perhaps swap the cubes. That would be my guess. Huh. What would be the best way to do that, though? That's not quite what I wanted to do. Hmm. What if... What if I put the cube right there? There we go. That should theoretically work. Assuming I- the cube goes through the portal before I go through the fizzler. No, It's okay, I can fix this. Okay, so I have to give it a little bit more lead time. There we go, that works. Now I have to run over here and pull this off the button. There we go. Saved it just in time. Then we pull it all the way through over here, or push rather. And do that. And then this guy and I go back to the start of the map. Um, yes. That direction please. Oh, um, yes. I do believe I forgot a slight problem with my plan. <laughs> How'd we get this guy over there, huh? It auto-respawns, right? Yes, it does. Okay, that solves the problem. Gotcha. So that when we respawn this guy, that one will just come to us automatically. No effort required. Save. 
Continue. There we go. And then... Let's do that. There we go. And we should be able to head up here and be mostly done. Right, so. Put that cube there. Doesn't really matter which one we use now. And this one here. And now, both cubes are required at the exit. Awesome. Nice fixing, Dr. A. Right. Well, guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it, and I'll see you all in another video. Goodbye!